welcome back to my channel if this is the first time you're seeing my face my name is Tolani I'm a youtuber I am a podcast producer I'm an event planner I have so many things under my wings basically but yeah I'm a fun person and that's what's important if you're a returning subscriber you know how we do it here one go there's a word hashtag young wifey and that's a period anyways I have not picked up this camera to record in exactly 21 days and I'm not proud of that, honestly, but you guys, life was just life in. I feel like that's the best way I can say it, and that's why I'm doing this video. So I've been married for nine months. I got married in January or in October. And sometimes I just think about that and I'm like, eh? Eh? You safe. You have been married for close to a year. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do a video about what my life has been like so far, how marriage has been treating me, or rather, I'm just going to talk about my new reality as a married woman, as a newly wed. I think that's that's the perf uh, that's the perfect word, not married woman, as a newly wed. So um, <laughs> I had to write down a few things because I'm not. I can't remember everything. People always ask me, so Tony, what's it like now? You're married, da 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 da, da. and I'm just like. Of course, when you tell people, you're like, oh, it's all, it's, it's cute, he's adorable, blah, blah, blah. We thank God. And that's what I want to say. But if you ask me deep, deep inside, like, hey, B, what's up? What's marriage like? I'm going to be like, marriage is hard work. Marriage is you are compromising. Marriage is you have to be focused. You have to be extremely kind. Your pride has to literally be in a different room. It's not going to be in the same room with you guys. That is what marriage is. Um, the first, I feel like I, I need to talk about like the adjustment that we both made together since we got married. I'm not going to pretend. We were living together for about, I think, uh, seven to eight months before we got married. And that's because where I was living got demolished. Long story. We don't have to get into that. Anyway, so I was staying with him, and I feel like that even kind of opened my eyes. I was just like, ah, I want to marry this person. This one that he's doing like this. He had some habits, and I had some habits that we just could not, you know, sing together. But that's where I say compromise now comes in. Anyways, the adjustment was crazy, you guys. You know how when you're dating, you're like, I just want to wake up and see my baby beside me. Well, now your baby is going to be beside you every day of your life. You're going to wake up, and you're going to be seeing this face. Sometimes it's the loveliest thing ever. Sometimes it's just like, I need my, I need my silence. I need my space. I want to be alone. And <laughs> you can't really get that alone time. That's just the truth because are you trying to tell your partner not to stay in their house? Or you're going to say, and just because I just, I need my space, don't sleep in the same bed. It's not going to happen. So there was, that, that was a major adjustment where I had to see this person every day. Literally, it was, it has become my new norm. Like I'm waking up and then there's someone beside me sleeping, or someone is just being loud for no <laughs> for no reason, and I have to sort of be okay with that, or you know, just try to tell this person, hey, hey this is how I like to sleep. This is how I like to wake up. Um, you get to learn a lot about your partner if they're like a morning person, if they're an afternoon person, night person, all of those things. I realized that my husband is very active when he wakes up. Unlike me, I like to stay in bed and just like calm down you won't you won't get me wake. you won't like you won't ever find me when i wake up in the morning and i jump up and i'm like okay i have to do this i have to do that mm -mm. i'm gonna still stay in bed for like five minutes no matter what like i have to boot i don't know how to explain it it's the opposite for him so that was a very big adjustment for us even before marriage like just working things out waking up together was was something number two was cooking you know how like um, when you're dating, you guys can order out. I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, you understand that like I used to eat out a lot. And then I added a whole lot of weight. And I was like, you know, I have to start making my meals because I wanted to try the healthy um, option. Or just like live a better life for myself. And I realized I don't like cooking as much. But I also have a duty to now feed somebody as well. Because he literally comes home very late at night. Sometimes 9.30, 10.30. Meanwhile, I close earlier. I close by 5. I get home by 6. Maximum if there's traffic by 7. It falls on me to sort what we'll eat for dinner and all of that. But most times he would maybe just grab a meal for us on his way and all of that. And that adjustment was real. I feel like, you know how our mothers used to say, uh, 
you don't want to learn how to cook now you will learn it in your husband's house i am a living testimony and i want to say a very big shout out to cc and me kiki foodies diary of a kitchen lover i'm always on their instagram always on their youtube trying new recipe also shout out to my sister once i say that the food is not it's not making sense it's like hello musu please what do i do why is this still bubbling is it not supposed to rise up i mean anything like that i'm, I'm calling her i don't even need to think twice i'm just like help me i'm not going to embarrass myself number three oh my god i know everybody says communication communication but like i feel like they don't even hammer it enough you guys will communicate by force there are days where you don't want to talk but you have to talk there are days where you want to talk but you have to remain silent that is what marriage is i need that to sink in to you people like i need you guys to like listen to what i just said there are days where you have to talk but you have to keep quiet but there are days where you have to be quiet and you want to talk so imagine trying to like settle that why is this hair in my eye anyways that is i feel like for me that's been the hardest thing i'm very much confrontational when it comes to things in my relationship or in my marriage now as a married woman and he's more of the i want to be quiet maybe well let me think about it and then i'll come through later but like you both like the, the way it can only work is when two of you understand that okay this person's feelings are valid and your own feelings are valid as well so you have to understand that unless there will be a clash there will be a big clash i feel like when we fought i can't realize i can't count how many times we fought but we fought over the most silliest things we fought about a rug he doesn't like when people walk with slippers or anything on the rug i don't know why his rug is so precious to him but sometimes i forget and i'm just walking and it's just like it, it upsets him and for, instead of me to say sorry i'm just like is it not just rug little things like that literally spike up like anger in your partner and then you're just like why is this person getting so pressed about just a rug and everything but to them it means something because they communicated to you and what you did was you ignored that communication um Another thing we used to do even before we got married was that whenever we fight, we'll not take it overnight. That worked for like two and a half years, I'm not gonna lie. And after that, it was like, ugh, I beg, we'll fight tomorrow, we'll, sort, we'll settle it. But now that my marriage, I feel like it is, it has not become something that we're very intentional about, where if we fight, we try our best to make sure we talk about it. Like, at the end of the day, we're husband and wife, right? God has said, He has joined us together and we are one. Can you fight with yourself? Can you fight with your body? exactly so we try to talk about it um manipulation yes once in a while i'll cry and be like <laughs> so that he says sorry but it doesn't work all the time and there are some times where it's just like please like this woman get it together that kind of thing another thing that i know many people have been asking me about this is especially my close friends as in finances how have we been able to sort out finances so before we got married, we had a, a conversation, we had a discussion rather about, okay, so now that we're getting married, how do we plan to, you know, put our home in order financially? And we're like, okay, you know what? We're going to create an account that will literally just be for the home. And on under no circumstances, we will both of us just say we're not working. The whole point is we need the both of us to always earn so that we can contribute um contribute simultaneously to the growth of our, our home our family eventually so i have a percentage that i contribute into the house like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that of course he has the bigger share <laughs> i'm a woman okay and i'm here for the sub baby girl life the sub girl life anything like that and i have my um percentage that i contribute and we try to stick to it monthly i feel like that's been able to keep us grounded i feel like if you do maybe like half a year or quarter a year for us we'll just look like a large sum and it's just like ah how are we doing this even when we go on trips and everything what we try to do is we plan things ahead so we're not spending as much um i can randomly just go on a travel website and just see what flight tickets are like and be like okay you know what if we book this flight eight months um prior we'll be saving five hundred thousand so you understand ways like that for us to like you know cut cost here and there um another thing that i know that people asked me was oh, will you guys ever have domestic help and everything i won't lie i'm a sucker for if you can outsource anything by all means do it i i'm young i want to look my age I want to feel my age i don't want to look like 
I'm 50, I'm 40 and I'm just 25. Do you understand? So whatever we can outsource, we also agreed on that I would outsource. But of course, um, we put our, our home first, what favors us first. So if I feel like this domestic stuff isn't working for us, it's, we're cutting it off. Or we definitely have to agree, even as when it comes to the driver, the cleaners, we have to agree on this person. If I just have a reservation about the person, it means no, we're not going for. So there's nothing like, oh, because he likes the person, I don't like the person, and he goes ahead with the person. No. Because at the end of the day, this person would also influence how we make decisions in our home. So yeah, that is one. I feel like I'm not even looking at what I wrote down again, but let me, I can't remember what that says. So I'm going to go back and check. Oh, okay. Somebody said, I just, I, I remember that, would we ever do um, like a joint account and everything? I trust him with money and I feel like he does the same as well. And I feel like if we have a joint account, well, in 2024, first of all, we are both going to be beneficiaries and not dull enough to just do Mr. and Mrs. You know, in this point, you're supposed to put your full name. So in case of, in case it's nobody's trying to act stupid. As, and as, as I said as well, we believe in the principle of percentages so even if we had a joint account everything that will still be coming out or coming in will still be based on percentages as well um okay i really like this question someone was like how did i navigate in law relationships i won't even lie i had a rocky start um at first no it was not rocky i had a smooth start at first and then it got a bit rocky and that's because we just have two extremely different backgrounds I, I'm, how I was brought up is not how he was raised up at all. As a matter of fact, that was a big problem because it was just like, in my mind, I'm like, why can't you see things this way? But that's the same way he felt like, where he's like, this is how things should be done. And it took a while. We saw a counselor. That counselor really helped us um, understand that you have to compromise. So if, let's say, I believe in people staying over in the house and he doesn't believe, what, what about if we now do... What if this person stays for a period of time and you know just things to make everybody happy at the end of the day that's just that's the most important thing i feel like i'm talking to my hand too much anyways that's the most important thing and that i remember the counselor also said something that just so you know your family will always be your family so your immediate family like my family will always be my family's family will always be his family but the most important thing is the family that we were about to create and that's it starts with both of us we have to put both of us as priority first. No brother, no mother, no sister comes before us. No mother, no brother, no sister comes in between us. And when we have children, no brother, no mother, no sister, or even dad comes between us. Or, you know, anything like that. And I remember that the, um, one of the things that the counselor taught us was that in the hierarchy of how you should love or how you should prioritize yourselves is the couple that's the husband and wife has even before your children and what's happening most of the time these days is that you're putting your children above you both of you like the couple so it's the couple the children then the siblings follow and then extended family and i feel like we've been trying to work with that and it's been working well for us and of course everything is a gradual process there's been time where we've clashed where i don't necessarily agree with what he's saying like what do you mean maybe your sister has to do this it doesn't make sense to me and there are times where it's like why am i doing this for my sister like is that not me being extra but it's like hello i've known this person all my life even before i i i met you so i respect them or i regard them but this is where communication now literally comes in again both of you have to sit i feel like when it comes to marriage there's going to be a whole, a whole lot of you know what let's sit down let's talk you know when you're dating, it's mostly you are typing, you are doing keypad warrior. Mm, good luck to doing keypad warrior when you're married. You will sit down and have difficult conversations. You, There's no running away from it. Like, you cannot run away from it. Yeah, that's that. I don't want to talk too much about in-law um, thingy because it can be very dicey and you have to be um, very careful. They just brought the lights. Now, let's move on. The next point is um, sex, 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 sex. I don't even know if I should discuss this. Anyways, I'm going to be very brief because this one, my parents watch my YouTube channel and I, I'm, still, I'm still a child, okay? I'm a child. Anyways, 
when it comes to sex, you know when you're dating your mind, you feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna be hot for daddy. All those nonsense people say. Now, sex is a duty. It is literally a duty. It's in the Bible where the both of you have to come together and copulate and multiply and fill the earth. There are days where you won't feel like it, but you have to. There are days where you have to, but you don't feel like it. I feel like that's how I can say it. Um, I remember the preaching on Wednesday, that was Pastor Bologi, where he was trying to give an example where he was saying, you have to put your sense of reasoning above your emotions so he gave an example where he was he asked the man and said how many times has he like maybe tapped his wife and asked her for sex and she's just like oh leave me alone and how did he feel and the man was it like he always feels rejected he feels sad when this happens but that he understands that not every time will this person want to partake in this activity and i was just thinking about it i was like you have to put your sense of reasoning above emotions do you know how deep that is it means that if you are upset about something like you're angry you have to think about what your partner will feel before you even react ah <laughs> it's hard i'm not gonna lie it can be very hard because like i want to i'm talking about myself like who cares about you like let's focus on me right now do you understand and that just made me you know go back and say you know what I'm going to now um, approach things in a different manner. It really resonated with me. And I feel like it will help someone out there too as well. Always put your sense of reasoning above your emotions. And life will be easy for you. Another thing that I'm going to say, and I feel like maybe I'm just going to round up this video with this point, is basic respect. Basic respect. It goes a long way. Most of you will respect your boss to the fact that to the point where you are even scared of them, but you cannot respect your partner. Your partner is your friend, your best friend, everything, but like that basic respect must be there. Once it, once this person becomes your husband, um, you're about to say that's the crown on your head. How will you treat your crown? Of course, you want to pamper it, you want to, you know, make sure it is well kept, it looks nice, it's shiny. That's the same way you should treat your partner. Um, and I'm not talking about the woman now just making her husband feel good the same way your man should always want everything best for you make sure that like in your career your AC needs to be there to help you I feel like there's no way um, you'll be in marriage and you don't even have a good understanding of what your partner does so like now I produce podcasts I plan events my husband has a very good idea like I feel like if I can't make it up to my work I can give him a call and be like, I don't, I can't do this. Can you help me? And he knows what to do. And same goes for him. He's a businessman. I have an understanding of what his business um, is about and how he runs. So he is not up to it. Then he's like, ah, oh, I need help. I know what to do. I'm not lost. So yeah, those type of things are very important. And I feel like I've said a lot and I've, I've not said a lot at the same time, but yeah. This is where I'm going to end this video. I hope that from what I've shared, a few of you out there will just be able to pick things. And forget that it's about marriage now. It can literally, you can replicate all these things I've said even in your um, relationships or courtship. I hate the word courtship. I feel like it just sounds for, it sounds like what people in the 80s would have said. <laughs> Anyways, everything I've said in this video, you can, you can replicate it in your relationships today. And... It would it would lead to somewhere nice yeah i wanted to say something but i don't think i should say i know that there's some i don't want to use that word what, what can i use there's some men that just you know no matter what you do they had no day there and there are some ladies that when you look at them they're just like ah what a waste of time i am praying for everybody that is watching this video now that may we not meet anybody that will waste our time may we not meet anybody that's We'll have zero potential but we'll be blind to it may we not meet someone who will not love us for who we are and may we not meet someone that would only see the faults in us in jesus name we pray amen can i even say amen amen all right thank you for watching this video if you learned a thing or two please drop a comment in the um, comment section. I want us to talk in the comment section. I really love it when you guys drop comments. It makes me feel really good. I feel like I have a community that way. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.